I'd like to talk to you about what I call branding you in regards to your attitude at home or at work. I only have one goal for my clients and that is to help them be the best they can be. So I'd like to give you some coaching about how we deal with issues in the workplace. And what I mean by that is if I were to meet you in a coffee shop or have a smoothie with you and we talked about your life, I know from experience that everybody has issues in their life. I mean, no doubt about it. Some people have big issues, some people have small issues, some people have imaginary issues. Nonetheless, we all have issues. So here's some coaching for you today with the intent to allow you to be your best in the workplace. And this coaching is from the heart with sincerity and empathy. And my coaching is that in the workplace, no one cares about your issues. And again, I mean that with sincerity. Here's what I mean. Imagine just for fun, if I was being introduced as a keynote speaker at a corporate event, and I'm being introduced and the guy's saying, hey, this guy's amazing, he's done 3,000 presentations around the world, he's been covered by the Inside Edition, Today Show, and he's here to share with us on how to take it to the next level. Let's hear it from Mr. Dan Lear. The crowd's going crazy and I come out and I give you one of these. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Lear. I'm a success coach, international speaker, and I'm here today to talk about reaching your next level. Um, I'm usually a bit better than this, but my wife and I are having some issues right now, and you know how relationships are, you know, go through peaks and valleys. Well, we're in one of those valleys right now, and well, not only that, my son's being held back in school, and my daughter's dating Eminem. So, anyway, I'm kind of a second half player, so if you stick with me over the next couple hours, I'm really going to get it going. Now, that skit is officially over. I mean, can you imagine if that really happened? If you're in the audience, what would you be saying to yourself? I mean, get that guy out of here. Come on, I got my own problems. Whatever you paid him, get your money back. Because you may have liked me as a person. You know, he seems like a nice guy and all that, but quite frankly, you don't want to hear about my problems. So it goes the same in the business world. It's just not appropriate to share your issues with your coworkers. So find a close friend that you trust, preferably not at work, and share. Yet don't share your stuff with your coworkers, because here's what happens. People get what's called an association about you. They get conditioned to you. And here's what I mean by that. Remember years ago when you learned about Pavlov's dogs? He was a psychologist who had the dogs and put them in a cage and then he went back to feed them and he rang the bell. He did this over and over and he brought the dogs food, dogs salivated, rang the bell. After a few times, he simply rang the bell and the dogs started to salivate. They were conditioned that when the bell rang, the food was coming. The dogs had an association to the bell. Now, it's the same thing for you and I. We are conditioning people every day based on our attitudes. They create an association based on how we show up time and time again. For instance, if I were to come into your office or meet you for a cup of coffee next week or even the next month over and over again, and every time you see me, I have a level 10 attitude, giving you positive, sincere feedback, helping you get to the next level. Pretty soon you're saying to yourself, you know, hey, I, I like that Dan guy. I mean, I like him, he's positive, he always makes me feel good. So what happens is you get conditioned to how I treated you and you have an association about you feeling good when you see me. So what happens over time is pretty soon, all you have to do is see my business card, hear my voice message, or even see my car drive up and bang, you literally start to feel good. It's conditioned in your body. Now, the reason I share that with you is I guarantee right now that there's someone in your life, maybe someone you work with, someone you care about, and sometimes even someone you live with that every time you see that person or even hear their voice, you instantly start to feel tired and depressed. So here's a hint for you. When you walk in the office and people won't make eye contact with you or you see them scurrying for their office, that's a good hint you've created an association that's not positive. I mean, have you ever been out to lunch with someone and they've complained about their life for the entire lunch? The meal's over and you feel like taking a nap? <laughs> I mean, I know I have. I can tell you one thing that my calendar just doesn't seem to open up for lunch with people with a negative attitude. I mean, how many people have you met that when you meet them, you just feel like you want to go with someone else because you're tired every time you walk away from them? The same with me. My calendar is just booked up whenever I find someone that's not positive. Well, I'm about out of time, and when we come back, I'm going to share with you how your attitude can affect your relationships at home and how they have an impact on your relationship, whether it grows or whether it fizzles. You're watching TSTN.